Hello everyone, this is Grace. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a screenshot from your iOS app, just like this. So this is the app I just built. And then when you click the screenshot, you can actually choose which screen, which window you want to take a shot and then click, boom, and that show up on your app. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first of all, let's familiar, get familiar with the screenshot commands. So I think it's screen capture dash H. So you can see there's list of options. I think the ones we want to use is the clipboard. And also we only want to select the window. So let's try it. Um, screen capture dash C double. Ooh, nice. So we can actually um, select windows. Let's give it a try. So click. So at this point, we should already save a window image onto the clipboard. Let's do control V here. Uh-huh. So let's get to paste into the Twitter website. So I think the clipboard is working. So we can use that. The next one we want to toggle is uh, we want to create the UI on the uh, the app. So uh, this is the template when we just create the app project, but we can modify this a little bit. So we can do, so here we can change it to a button. We can change it to a button and that button will, and we will just click that button so that we can capture. So here we can say, uh, let's just print here, click button. And here uh, we can put some text that says, um, click to a screen shot. So you can do option command P to refresh here to refresh the preview. So now it's working and we can also add some text here. So our goal is actually for the user when they click the button so that they will see the image on the app. So here we'll say the captured image. And the next one will be the image. So we will capture a NS image. So at the very beginning, that will be an empty one. So do this. So we will define a state variable called image. At the very beginning will be an empty image so that this will build. And also, let's just make a little bit fancier, add a V stack so that they look nicer. Um, just a tip, you can do control I to format the code. So now when we click here to show you the app. Oh, okay. Here. So when you click, it's actually show up the print message. Okay. Let's put a little padding there too. Too small. All right, the next step is to create a function so that we can call the screen capture commands and return to us a image. So here we can say screenshot 
window and success. We are expecting a boolean to tell us whether it is success or not. So the way to call a CLI is actually through the process. Okay. Here we need to pass where the screen capture. So um, how we can find out, we can say where is screen capture ah, is under user SBN. So we can copy this here. And then we need to pass the argument CW and then we'll launch. And it will end until the test is done. You can actually check the status of this task and a return status equals zero. So if status equals zero, it is success. Otherwise, it's a failure. So now we can replace the button here. We say if screen shot window at a success, we will print. got the screenshot. Okay, let's try it. All right, so click. Okay. So there are some error messages. Okay, so this error message is actually expected. So let's fix it. I think it's uh, complaints about the sandbox restriction. So that we will need to update the entitlement. It's under the project name and then the entitlement. So you can see here there's only some default ones. So we need to add default one let's see so I, oh, I already have this ready so I will just copy here alright okay so now we can save and let's clean this folder and build it again. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, nice. So you can see the cursor actually can hover over the window. So what if we click? Okay, so now it says we'd like to record this screen. So we will need some permission. So we'll open this. This is a very important step for your, your user. So you can see here, this new app is not being selected. and then open again. So let's try it again here. Ooh, you can see the sound. So this is actually done. The next step is to pass the image on the clipboard and then tell the app to show it. So we would create another function called a get image from pasteboard. So in Swift, the clipboard is actually called 
pasteboard. So we'll return an a image. So we'll say paste board equals to NS board general and we'll do a guard um, can read item um, and as image image type Otherwise, we will return a empty image. So this will make sure the clipboard only have images. And then we say gar let image and this image paste board paste board else return a and this image. Okay. So now return image. So this function should return the copied screenshot. Okay. So let's go back here. Let's let's uh, call this get image to pasteboard and assign to the image. All right. So when this is being assigned, this image should show, show here. Okay, let's try it. All right, here we go. So now you can see this cursor. Let's copy this. Oh, okay, let me do this again. All right, see here, voila. This is the copied image. That's wonderful. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it is helpful. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.